Oh boy, well look, I'm trying out a couple of things here because I, um, I had one of these in my toolbox, um, but I struggled to make it fill up with enough bleeding stuff to make it work. However, uh, I just got so sick and tired of my soldering iron blowing the fuses that I've decided to A, try this, but what I also did was um, I accepted that it might be something wrong with my iron itself, so I changed the tip on this iron um, and used the old body. So this is the old soldering iron plus the, the correct tip, which is kind of why I bought the second one anyway, because it was almost as cheap as buying an iron, uh, sorry, buying a replacement tip. So um, yeah, this seems to work, this gas-powered malarkey. Um, I'm just trying to sort of do my best to tin as much of it as I can. It hasn't been used for ages. <clears throat> and of course it's very, very hot. Now whether it, how effective it is in the sort of, unless do a, ooh. Okay, there are the three, yeah right, the three wires, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm just trying to think, is there something I could attempt to solder here without ruining the whole thing, that sort of feel. See, this is a problem. It didn't quite get hot enough. Despite all its spluttering and choking, it never gets hot enough to spot melt. Yeah, nice in principle, <clears throat> ultimately just a waste of gas. So I'm going to put it there and let it cool off in its own time. <coughs> By comparison, my it, do it now doesn't blow the whole house electrics is already warm enough to, just about, yeah, to soften up the solder on here and scrape off the bits. So, there you go. That's that solved. What I really would like is a soldering iron with um, a rubberized, a much more rubberized uh, thing, cord, because these plastic ones just drag around and get in the way of everything. So, uh, <coughs> a rubberized one, I believe, would make my life a lot better because the cord would sit more efficiently in situ. Anyway, look, I'm just emptying out some of my solder goo into this little thing here, so it restores this thing. Right, anyway, that, <coughs> excuse me, that's nothing bad. That was by way of a, a hello, good morning, and welcome back to the chaos of Reload Guitars. And, um, <coughs> it's, uh, yeah, going good. This thing is waiting now to be strung with sacrificial strings and, um, thingamajigged. Fret leveled, precision fret leveled, and then after that, it's on to um, kind of the final stringing and, and leveling. So um, I'm just doing, trying to do a little bit of tidy up here because I have got three guitars to get working on, which I would like to make progress on, which is the pearl one, the red one, and the Telecaster one. Um, so I shall do that. Um, and I'll come back to you in a minute when I've got my head sorted.